Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ, and this is Enforcing Length Using iLogic, one of the tools for Inventor 2011. I've got a sample extrusion that I've just kind of made up here, and I want to limit its length to be less than 60 inches or 5 feet. For example, maybe this is the longest piece we can purchase. First, I'll go into my parameters, and I'm going to find the length, in this case D2, and I'm going to rename that parameter length. This will just make it easier for me to work with in iLogic. Now I can go ahead and go to iLogic and add a rule. I'll call this my length rule. Hitting OK, this brings up the wizard where I can begin to build my rule. I'm going to add an if-then-else-if statement. iLogic is going to give me a wizard that I can start to fill in. So if, I'll find my parameter of length and put that in. And then follow up with a greater symbol and then 60 inches. So if my length is greater than 60 inches, then show a message box. And this message box is going to tell me that my length cannot exceed 60 inches or 5 feet. And I'll go ahead and give it a title just to let me know that there's been a design violation is what I'm calling it. But that doesn't stop the user from creating something longer than uh, 60 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add another rule in here, length equal 60 inches. That will force the rule to go back to 60 inches when the rule runs. Finally, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more rule and using copy and paste put that in the right place. And that's just going to tell iLogic to make sure to update the part when all is said and done. Hitting OK, just like that I've got that rule created. So now if I go ahead and edit the length of this part and try to give it a distance of 70 inches, when I hit OK, the rule fires and tells me I can't do that. Not only that, as I zoom out, I can also measure this extrusion and see that it was forced back to 60 inches. So just like that, I've created something with iLogic that lets me make sure that I meet my design requirements correctly. That's it. Thank you.